We're going to simplify the following expressions completely. Looking at the first expression, we have the fraction five over p, or five divided by p, raised to the fourth power. Looking at the exponent rules below, if we have the fraction a over b raised to the power of n, this equals a raised to the power of n over b raised to the power of n. So if we have a fraction raised to a power, we need to raise a numerator and denominator to that power. So looking at our first expression again, because we have the fraction five over p raised to the fourth, this is equal to five raised to the power of four over p raised to the power of four. So this exponent applies to the numerator and denominator. We can simplify further because we can evaluate five to the fourth. Five to the fourth means we have four factors of five, which equals five times five times five times five, which equals 625. And therefore the given expression simplifies to 625 over p to the fourth, or 625 divided by p to the fourth. Our next expression, we have the fraction two x over three raised to the second power, or two x over three squared, which means you need to square both the numerator and denominator to simplify the expression. So we need to square two x, and we need to square three. To square two x, we can think of two x as two to the first times x to the first. In this form, we have powers raised to powers, and therefore we multiply the exponents. Remember, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So this is equal to two raised to the power of one times two, or two squared times x raised to the power of one times two, which is x squared, all over three squared. But two squared is equal to four, and three squared is equal to nine, so the expression simplifies to four x squared over nine. And then finally for the last example, we have the inner fraction raised to the third power, and therefore we need to raise both the numerator and denominator to the third power. So this is equal to two m n cubed raised to the third power, all over three r squared raised to the third power. Looking at the numerator, we can think of two m n cubed as two to the first, m to the first n cubed. In the denominator, we can think of three r squared as three to the first r squared. Now because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So this is equal to two raised to the power of one times three, which gives us two to the third times m raised to the power of one times three, which is m to the third times n raised to the power of three times three, which is nine, all over we have three raised to the power of one times three, which gives us three cubed times r raised to the power of two times three, which gives us r to the sixth. And then finally, we can evaluate two to the third and three to the third. Two to the third is equal to two times two times two, which equals eight. So the numerator is eight, m to the third, n to the ninth. In the denominator we have three to the third, which equals three times three times three, which equals 27. So the denominator is 27, r to the sixth. I hope you found this helpful.